<laughs> hey there, good morning. It's Saturday. I'm out here in the chicken yard. Hi, girls. Uh, so I also, the, the apple stick doubles as the watermelon stick. I mean, check this out. So we're going to chuck this all out because they just, they're done. They're just like watermelon paper now. Um, but we can take these and just, uh, look at this. Boom. Watermelon stick now. <laughs> Genius. They just love it. Hi. How are you? They're very hungry. I didn't put them in last night because I fell asleep on the sofa and then it was too late because the babies sit up here. You see all the poop. Uh, and when you rustle them, they make a lot of noise and I didn't want to bug people. I mean, they squawk like, oh my God, don't put me inside where I'll be safe. Like, what are you doing? Anyway, my day yesterday with Leslie at the Quabbin Reservoir. Whoo, who's been there? It's magnificent. And we had like a perfect day. So let's talk about the Quabbin Reservoir. In uh, 1893, out in Boston, they realized so many people need so much water. What are we going to do? Well, they start, you know, circling out. And they get to 65 miles away, the Swift River Valley. And they're like, this is a great point because it goes up a little. And um, they could gravity feed all of Boston if they flooded the valley for four tiny problems. Enfield, Greenwich, Prescott, and Dana, which are towns where people live. Oh, They had to relocate like 2,500 people. They purchased 60,000 acres of land, and then more was seized. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Uh, it took nine years to build, seven years to fill. And um, it's interesting, in the video, we also saw that they uh, log for s water safety. They didn't explain that very much, but that seemed really interesting. Uh, today is uh, National Tell an Old Joke Day. What do you call a line of rabbits walking backwards? A receding hairline. <laughs> it's also National Amelia Earhart Day, which you can celebrate because it's also National Te Te Tequila Day. It's going to be a great day today. Lots of sun. Not much of a chance of rain. Up in the mid-70s. Get outside. Do something fun. We're out from the chicken yard. Bye-bye.